The event brought together thousands of party faithful, including seven and former governors, members of the National Assembly, and former national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Adam Sushomole, and many others. Before the political essence of the event was unveiled, the lead cleric Apostle Eugene Ogu of the Abundant Life Church prays for the unity of the country. He particularly calls for an end to all kinds of security challenges plaguing the country to prove to Nigerians that he is both mentally and physically fit. Amechi undertook these tags around the 40,000 capacity at Doke Amasi Amaka Stadium. <laughs> Having successfully accomplished these tags, Chibikero Timi Amechi tells the crowd that the burning desire to serve the country is his driving force to become their president. But my aspiration is not about fulfilling any personal ambition. I am contesting for the office because I believe that it is my moral duty to give what I can in the service of my country. The presidential aspirant, however, admits that the country is going through some turbulence in the area of security. We are facing some very serious challenges as a country. These are problems of insecurity, challenges of greater accountability in governance, youth unemployment, and the scourge of spiral poverty. These problems are, however, not the exclusive preserve of Nigeria. We live in a troubled world. The reality we used to know has altered in nearly every nation. One after the other, dozens of party faithful took turns to speak on their expectations. Today, I am proud to be here to witness with my own Koro Koro eyes the unity of LPC under the able leadership of Honorable Chibuke Abeji. Okay. And why we are here is to thank God, to thank God for what he did to us, to thank God for giving us the Honorable Minister of Transportation. For instance, I'm looking at job creation as a major issue. Most young people don't have jobs. The only way they can get jobs is if there is an environment for business to thrive. And they can't have that if there is uh, insecurity. With today's declaration, it is now official that two river sons are running for the position of president. But as the politics continues, only time shall tell who emerges president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria come 2023. From the venue of the APC Thanksgiving in Portacos, Monica Ogwa, Silver Bend is 24.